Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to install your Epic Games to your Steam Deck. So first go to your desktop mode and then go to your Discover and search for Heroic. I have mine installed, so if you don't install it, I'm just going to launch it here. And once the Heroic Games Launcher launches, go into Manage Accounts and make sure that you've logged into your Epic Games Store. I have mine logged in and once you're done, you can go to your stores page. Make sure you collect the free games every two weeks. Epic Game Store gives out free games. You can take a look at my library that I've collected over the years. I haven't bought any games from Epic, but these are my games already. So there's some good ones. The Batman Arkham series, I've got that. I think that was the very first series I got. That's how I joined Epic. They gave Batman. And then I've got, you know, Dishonored. Pretty good one. And I've, what else have I got? The Fallout series. I've got the Fallout series. That was free. And Hitman. Hitman's good. Just Cause. There's some good games here. Got what well, I've got Prey. Remnant. Remnant 2 just came out. So yeah, Remnant was for free. Tomb Raider, yeah, the whole Tomb Raider series. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so make sure you collect your games. Make sure. Oh, yeah, actually, I did buy a game. I bought um Jedi, Jedi Survivor. No, not Survivor. The first one, Jedi Fallen Order, from the Epic Game Store, and I regretted that because it needs a launcher. And it's not good. Yeah. So you're running the Epic. All right. So now go into your library, and I'm gonna install an easy one, six hundred max. Yeah. So just click install. And just wait for it to download. Yes, I was saying, um, I got Jedi Fallen Order and it so you have to run the Epic Games launcher and then you have to run the the EA launcher and then you can run the game. So it, it's not really good, yeah, like to run it that way. You're you're going through different launchers and it wasn't a good experience. But that's just the EA I think EA launch is pretty bad, yeah. But yeah. So yeah, we're installing these games to our Steam library. And once you've installed them, you can add a shortcut. So in game mode, you can just launch it like a Steam game. Yeah. And you get free games every two weeks from Epic. So I think you should start collect building up your collection, building up your library. And yeah, just wait for some games. Like every year they give one or two games that are pretty good. But they gave out um Death Stranding. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the game, but yeah, it's a pretty decent game. Triple A decent game. And they gave out uh Battlefield, I think. Battlefield 2, Star Wars. Yeah. So yeah, just wait for the game to install and then I'll show you how to launch it. It might, some games don't launch out of the bat. You might need some dependencies. Um, so yeah, you have to be aware of that. It's like, of course, buying the games from Steam and, and running them on the Steam Deck is the easiest way. But sometimes, you know, you just got some games on Epic and you want to play them. Maybe you brought them, brought the games and you want to, you don't want to buy it again on Steam. And sometimes you just want to play the free games. So I hope this, this video helps you out. So let's see if this game runs out of the bat. I did another video uh, for GOG accounts. So if you have games on GOG, uh, it's pretty much the same steps. You're still using Heroic Games Launcher. You can check that video out if you if you have some games on GOG. I don't have a really big library on GOG. I just basically got Witcher 3. So yeah, if you have a big library on GOG and you want to play them on the Steam Deck, go check out that video. All right, so the installation's almost done. Done. Okay, let's just press play now. Oh, check out. Okay, we probably check out the... All right, there's an error here, I think. All right. No, I think that's... Do we need to use a different Proton? 
hot fix. No, it works. Proton experimental. All right, so let's just add to Steam. So we create a shortcut to our Steam library. And let's try to run the game on desktop mode. See if it works. Oh, we got an error. D3D error. Okay. Okay. D3D. To exit. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we change the Proton version. Let's see if we go to a different Proton. GE. Maybe that fixes things. We need to do trial and error sometimes. Or you could actually just go to the Steam DB website and search your game, and maybe it tells you how to run it. I normally try it first. If I get stuck, then I go there. All right, so I'm getting D3D error. Maybe I need some dependencies. Maybe I need to install the Dark 3D, D3D dependency. So let's just go to, let's change it back to Proton Experimental. And then I'm going to go to Wine Tricks here, Wine Tricks. And I'm going to try to install a dependency and see if that helps. Because I'm always getting the D3D. So I think I just install the dependencies and it will work. So install a Windows DLL or component. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to just install D3D compiler 47. I think that's the latest one. I don't, yeah, I think just 47 is good. Let's try it out. So now I'm installing D3D compiler, which is a, I think it's a dependency. Maybe it's needed for this game. So, like I was saying, if, if you can't get it to work, go to steamdb.com and search your games see if um it requires any dependencies maybe you need to install it all right let's see if it works okay let's go see wasn't that hard okay it bounces to a website epic games yeah i guess that's the first time when you launch a game all right, it's working. So let's quit and go into game mode. So I'll see you in game mode. See if it works in game mode. So yeah, these are official games that I are on my um, Epic Games account, and I just moved them over to play on my Steam Deck. Yeah, and I get free games every two weeks from Steam Deck, and uh, no, no, not from Steam Deck, from Epic Games Store. So yeah, make sure you collect the games. You know, those those games add up. You know, not all games are good. Um, but yeah, they just add up. And you know, you never know. You might want to play them sometime. Or maybe you got some kids over, you wanna, you know, you just download some platformers for them to, you know, run around. Or some sandbox games, you know, something like that. Alright, so back in game mode, go to my non Steam game library. It's already here because I added the Steam shortcut. So let's see if it runs. See if I get any errors. Hope not. Because it will drag out this video. Alright. So no. I think it's working fine. Easy. See if any hiccups in, in the game. Alright, I think this is like a Mega Man game. I never played this game seriously. But yeah, it's like a Mega Man game. Performing. Yeah. Pretty good. Everything seems working fine. So yeah, I guess I'll just leave it here. So if you have any problems, please leave them in the comments. And I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.